One of the big problems that people have when they begin to learn about dream interpretation is what we call interpretive legalism. They, they figure out, you know, this usually means this, this usually means this, and they want to create a dream dictionary. They want to have a list that they can look at when they have a dream and say, well, this element was in my dream, so this means this. But you know what? It sometimes will mean this, but sometimes it'll mean that. You, you have to hold on to those things loosely because the exact same element can mean different things in different dreams, in different seasons, in different situations. If you were to take a look at the seed in scripture and you, you, you get a concept of what seed means and you go through and you realize how, how Jesus says that, that your seed is, it's, that there's a mustard seed and it's like faith. And if you have faith just the size of a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain to move and it moves. And so you, you recognize that seed represents faith. The faith represents seed. And that's wonderful, but if you take that and you hold on to legalistically and you go to, to 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and 10 where Paul is talking about giving, now all of a sudden that concept, it misses out because seed does not mean faith in that context. In that context, seed means giving. But seed can't always mean giving because sometimes it means faith. And then in Matthew 13, Jesus uses seed to talk about the kingdom of God. And another place he uses seed in Matthew 13 to talk about the communication or the word that is being said. You, you see, it, it's one of those things where we've taken the particular context of a metaphor and we've made the context the meaning. And interpretive legalism always ends up with that where you miss the meaning. If you take it much more broadly, see seed is something that is in one form, but when it's let go of, it changes and becomes another form. It grows, it starts small and it becomes bigger, but it has to be let go of for it to happen. Now all of a sudden you can apply that meaning to all of those different metaphors and you get the understanding. And so as you're trying to understand this means this, back up, get the big picture. It's not always what it meant in that dream. It could have a different meaning in a different dream. What's the big picture? That will help you interpret more of your dreams.